the person of Joseph was restored. Are you there? If the chief captain did not mention Joseph to Pharaoh, Joseph would have continued to rot in prison. He would have continued to be in prison. But because somebody introduced him, he had a chance to now march on his destiny. The destiny is there that somebody must promote destiny. That's why we have destiny promoted. Destiny happens. Are you there? And then we have destiny destroyed. We have destiny spoils. See, don't see that you are good. You are mathematically good. Even some teachers can pause you to fail your exams. In your class, they see that you are so talented. They don't find a way to destroy you so that your destiny will be shattered. Are you there? Joseph, his brothers, tried to destroy his destiny. But God did not agree. In their attempt to destroy his destiny, they rather help him to reach that level. Even though he went to difficult times, he went to situations, but he finally got to the place. Are you there? In Proverbs 18 16. Take your Bible. From our Bible. Proverbs 18 16. Proverbs 18 verse 16. Says that a gift opens the way and ashes the giver into the presence of the great. We have two types of gifts. We have spiritual gifts. We have physical gifts. Then the Bible says that a gift. So any type of gifts, whether it be spiritual gifts, whether it's a physical gift, that we are giving something to someone, we surely open a door for you. They will bring you to the place of greater people. Are you there? Now, when you have a spiritual gift, it will introduce you to somebody greater than you. Are you there? The spiritual gifts, the spiritual gifts, will introduce you to somebody about you who will help you now to continue to uh, promote that gifts. Who will help you to cause that gift to help others? Are you there? So whatever gifts God gives you, you are supposed to work on it and make it useful because out of that gift, promotion will come into your life. But if you think you are using your gift to help the church, then what is the church? The church is a place where they worship God or the temple of a gathering of the children of God when we come together it becomes a church and we worship God your creator who gave you the gifts so when you are holding your gifts that you will not utilize your gifts so dynamically so vigorously to help the worship what we are doing is that your gift will be shattered and that gift will be shattered Nobody will know you anywhere. Yeah, we'll nobody will be ready to help you. Yeah, so wow. Are you there? Oh. Then physical gifts. Now, we'll there are people who give to others. Yeah, there are people who support others. Yeah, now, for instance, you want to meet somebody like a vice president. Yeah, and you are trying every means you are not getting the way. Yeah, Look for a gift. Yeah. Are you there? Look for dollars. Look for pounds sterling. And put in an envelope. The next time you go, tell the guards, the secretary, that you are there to present a gift. You want to present a gift to the big man. And this is the gift. You have dollars. And you are touching your heart to go and give the gifts. And you see wonder they will not want to see the money. When they see the money, they will radically to go and tell that vice president 
president. Or that president. That the man is carrying dollars. He's not coming to collect from you. He's coming to give to you. They will tell you, come quickly. Come. Bring him right now. Bring him right now. I'm going for meeting, but I always see the press. And when you're able to see someone like the vice president of presidents, and they receive gifts from you, from that day, a door is open to you. Are you there? So the Bible says that your gifts will open door for you. So if you want to be successful, you must put your gift into use. Make sure your spiritual gifts are working. Make sure your physical gifts are also working. If you are always pulling your hands, you are not ready to open your hands. You, you, you will suffer on earth. Because people that should help you will not be ready to do so. You say the Mosuna is good to prisoners. They were all prisoners. But he did not hold by his gifts. He was kind to demonstrate his gift before them. They did not pay him a day. Because all of them had no money. But what came out of their gifts was better than the money they should have paid him. When you are giving out your gifts, don't expect something scanty. Expect something greater than what you are giving. I didn't hear your men at all. I didn't hear your men at all. Every time you are demonstrating your gifts, whether it's spiritual or physical gifts, when you receive something scanty, the greater one ahead will not come. Are you there? May God bless somebody this morning. A gift opens the door for you and brings you to greater people. Before somebody can help you in this world, the person will look at the type of gift you have and see he is able to push Invest in you, whether you can, it can be profitable. Joseph, 17 years boy. When he got to about 30 years, he became the prime minister of Egypt. Prime minister ever Egypt. So 30 good years, Joseph was developing himself. He was suffering. He was going to problems. Yet he did not say, I will not call upon God again. Are you there? He did not say, I will not come to church again. <laughs> he continued to be in prison. He continued to be in for God. Are you there? May the Lord bless somebody this morning. May God restore somebody this morning. May your destiny help her come to meet you quickly. May the angel of God bring your destiny help her. Where are they hiding? May the angel expose them and bring them to your doorstep. In Jesus' name. You may have good vision, good destiny. But if nobody is ready to support you, if nobody is able to pick you from where you are hiding, sometimes you are in a hole, sometimes you are in the remotest part of the world, somebody has to say, I know somebody who can do this. And that person who goes to call you and put you in the car and bring you to a crowd has been the destiny of you. Are you there? Oh. You can get the visa to travel outside. But if you don't get anybody to buy you the ticket, you will remain and the visa will expire. This thing happens. You can have the skill, the gift of trading. But if somebody don't give you money to buy the entrance, you'll be sitting down and you can never see any prosperity. Your gates shall open a door for you and will introduce you to the presence of
of people greater than you. May the Lord bless you. Those who have been sitting down on their gates. Those who have been sitting down and they are not ready to expose themselves. They are sitting on their life. They are sitting on their own progress. And nobody will know them. Everybody came to know Joseph because of his gifts. He became the prime minister. That day, a prisoner became a vice president. And the king said, anything you say, I am ready to salute you. So Joseph will be there and tell the king, I am going to know the regime to go and build silos so that they will stop food there and in all the towns they appointed chief executives in all the villages they appointed assemblymen to make sure that they correct the food and they stop food for seven years seven years they stop food then the famine came and the hunger went to his brothers and sisters and the brothers and sisters, the brothers that sold him, had to come and bow to him. Are you there? Because of food. So if you want people to bow to you, put your spiritual gift into serious use. Be serious. When they say it's all night, force your body to what? When they say they are praying, Put yourself into prayers. When it is Sunday service, put yourself into it. Whatever the church is doing, when you are involved, then you see yourself working and serving God at the same time. The devil has no choice than to release back what he has stolen from you. But you don't bless you this way. Now from today, the angel of God will bring on your way your best to help us. This person will help you and protect you, and your life will never be the same anymore. Your dream will come to a reality. You see yourself moving on successfully, and the power of the Holy Spirit will be with you. God bless somebody this morning in Jesus' name. Amen. Shall we begin to pray? Thank God for this morning. Thank God for this morning.